everyone. Uh, so last night I finished my 2018 scrapbook album and I absolutely love sharing these albums with you. I know it's not a good angle and um, I know it's not great but I hope that you can still see uh, the gist of what I'm doing and if I feel that anything needs to be zoomed in on um, I will do that during editing. Um, also sorry about my chipped nails. <laughs> I didn't want to faff around painting, painting them just for the sake of this video. I wanted to get it filmed and edited and uploaded for you hopefully tonight. So let's just crack on shall we? Um, so this is a 2018 Project Life album. Um, I didn't do any standard layouts in this album I think, it's just all Project Life pages and up until about a month ago I only had up until May 2018 scrapbooked. Um, I have since, in the last couple of weeks, scrapbooked the whole um, of 2018 and completely finished the album apart from a bit of journaling that I want to do but I will tell you about that when I get there. So this is my title page. Um, I for the last couple of years have been using black and white photos for my title page. Um, so that is my title page. And then we go into January. So I always use these cards from Crate Paper. Every year they release a cut apart paper that has the months of the year on with a calendar card and I, you tr I try and use them every year um, just for a bit of consistency throughout my albums. So you'll see those again in this album here. Um, I have a I Can't Adult Today card. This was from a collection by Simple Stories which had lots of like bad day cards in um, because obviously the night after New Year's Eve you're not always feeling the best. Um, but you'll see in this album, and I'm sorry that this page is, is leaning and if you can't see it properly I do apologise but my tripod has to have its leg on here otherwise you're not going to be able to see anything at all. Um, so I know that's annoying but I apologise. Um, you'll see in this album how simple it really is this year. I kept it so so simple especially in the later pages that I did recently. I just wanted this year done and in the books. So you'll see a lot of very simple, just one embellishment, decorating, just a sticker here and there, a little bit of outlining on a card and that really is it. So yep, this double page spread just documents January and then we go into February and that is another thing that I will point out. Um, a lot of the months of this year are just one page and that is the same for my 2019 album as well which I have just started. A lot of the months are literally just one double page spread. I'm getting a lot more selective about the things that I include in, um, in my Project Life albums and I'm trying to simplify the process for myself. So um, yeah, January of 2018 was literally just one double page spread. Like I said, we then go into February and this double page spread mainly documents the UK Planet Addicts Big Meat. This um, little card here is just covering up um, a child that can't be on social media, so that normally wouldn't be there, that's just a photo normally, um, but I wanted to cover her up. Um, but I mainly documented this event with um, cards from Anna Brim um, over at Mrs Brimble's. She had this collection that she released, I think it was like two, maybe even three years ago, that had like planner girls in it. Um, and the colours perfectly matched the colour scheme for last year's um, UKPA Big Meet. I was on the committee last year, I'm on the um, on the day committee this year, uh, so I'll be helping out on the day again. It's so much fun, but um, I wanted to document this in detail because I didn't have a lot of other photos for February. Um, so I put together this whole spread and there's a few photos at the top there which aren't to do with the big meat. Um, but I won the UKPA YouTuber of the Year award that year. There were lots of lovely photos of me and my friends and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this layout turned out. Then we head into March and there is actually an insert that sits between these two pages which is here um, but it's got um, my old address on it and even though we don't live in that town anymore I still don't necessarily think it's a good thing to have the old address on there so um, it was from when we put our house up for sale uh, which we did in February of 2018 so this double page spread is February and it documents the big meet and then the back side of this page also documents February, just a few random moments from the month. So um, unfortunately we did lose um, our last childhood dog, unfortunately she died in February of 2018. 
Um, we also got carpet fitted for the first time in our old house and I took some cute pictures of the dogs. Winnie hit 15,000 followers on Instagram and it was Valentine's Day so I documented those. Um, and again, you can just see how simple it really is. Then we go into March and we had the Beast of the East or the Beast from the East, whatever it was called, that massive snowstorm. Um, so again, I've just got a filler card here, uh, the March card from that crepe paper. Uh, paper. Um, I took Winnie to Crufts and I, I just have those two photos there. Again, just keeping it so simple and being really selective about what I include. Um, and I have two photos from Archie's second birthday. I threw him a little tea party at my mum's house. And to include a few more pictures of the snow, I made a little collage there and that's something I do quite a lot. This page here is also uh, from March and this is quite a busy spread in general. This is one of the ones that I, um, I'm not massively keen on, but it's fine. Um, so up here we have a little collage of some of the bunnies in the snow. Unfortunately, Poppet actually died last week, so I no longer have Poppet, which is really sad. But um, I'm really glad that I have those pictures of them in the snow. Um, this is three of our nieces. Will has one uh, brother and two sisters and his brother has four daughters. So this is their three youngest daughters celebrating um, St. Patrick's Day last year. And of course I had to go with a little green theme for this page because of all the green in that photo. Plus with it being March, I, I associate that with spring and new growth and, and green anyway. So you'll see quite a lot of green across this page. I took a little cute picture of Archie and some daffodils and again you've got a little green embellishment there. Um, there's one of my parents' dogs, Maggie, and my mum sent me this picture. In fact, I think my mum sent me both of these pictures. Um, the picture of Maggie and a picture of my dad with one of their other dogs, Mabel. And I love, I say this every time I film a flip through, but I love including other people's photos in my scrapbooks, like people from my family and friends. I love including their voice and their pictures in my albums. Most people don't document their photos, so I think it's nice that I can document some of my family's memories as well. Uh, it was coming up to Easter, so I had set up a little Easter display on my dresser and Winnie and I went to a Dachshund cafe, so again I included a collage there so I could get several photos in without taking up too much space. These are some um, photo, booth, oops, photo booth photos from my cousin's wedding of Will and I and we don't actually take that many photos together so I wanted to include both of these um, but I just did them as a little insert so I literally just stuck them back to back, hole punched them and popped them in there um, and then this other half of the spread goes into April so it's documenting my cousin's wedding and again I actually didn't take any of these photos. They were photos that my family took at the wedding and I included them. Um, this one was a selfie of my brothers, their girlfriends and then obviously Will and I so I popped that in there. Some stuff to do with uni and my brother's 21st birthday and again you'll see it's just minimal journaling, quite minimal embellishment, just keeping everything really simple. We have another quite busy layout here and again this is still in April. Um, we went to London, me and my mum with two of her work friends and we painted some pottery and there were some beautiful flowers in a Fulham flower shop so I had to document those and I sort of pulled my colour inspiration from that photo so there's a lot of pastel colours in this uh, spread. You've got the mint and the pale pink and everything going on. I think this was from a collection by Pebbles that I picked up in um, Hobbycraft and I really love that collection, I've still got quite a lot of it left. Um, but it's mainly just dog photos honestly, <laughs> um, my, my whole album is mainly just dog photos but um, they are the lights of my life so... <laughs> This is a whole spread of photos that I took of my rabbits, or three of my rabbits anyway. Um, it was around Easter spring time and I just really wanted some updated photos of the rabbits. So I made little flat, well I used hair bands that I had as little flower crowns and I took pictures of them and I just think they are so sweet. And I couldn't decide which ones to include so I just included them all. Um, and for anyone who's wondering, that's Bear, What's It and Nala. The 
the back side of that insert is still April and it's just documenting a few things that went on during the month. There was Cam's planner con and I went on a few days out um, and I documented going back to the gym and everything and a few little favourite things that had been going on throughout the month. And again, I've got an insert here of just two photos that were taken at Cam's PlanaCon that I didn't have room for in uh, the actual spread itself, but I, I wanted to include. So I just popped them in there. Then we go into May, and at the beginning of May last year, I went to uh, Sweden with some of my best friends. And I documented this trip quite in detail. Well, not really in detail, but I included a lot of photos, um, considering it's also gonna be in my travel album. I don't, I try not to go too crazy with travel photos in my main project life, but I just loved all of these pictures. So um, these thickers down here are some of my favorites. They're from Pink Paisley. Um, again, we've got that calendar card. I nearly always include a postcard from wherever we went. Um, these letter stickers are from Simple Stories and I have them in so many different colours. They are one of my favourite embellishments to use. Um, and I'm not sure where that card came from. I think it might be a Felicity Jane cut, cut apart sheet. Um, I used to subscribe to Felicity Jane. Um, and then these two pages are also from Gothenburg. And again, I've got those same uh, Simple Stories stickers. There's no embellishment on this page at all really, apart from the washi tape, a couple of enamel dots there, um, obviously this filler card and then those stickers. That's the only embellishment on that page. I kept it so simple. Um, and I'm pretty sure that all of these cards are from Felicity Jane actually, um, previous kits, really lovely. Um, and then May continues in this spread here. So. This is also a Felicity Jane card, as is this. Um, these big letter stickers, I'm not sure where they're from. No, I can't really remember, but they are really nice. They're one of my favorite fonts. I love that they're like a big chunky block font. Um, and mum and I had a little um, tea party with our Emma Bridgewater to celebrate the royal marriage last year. Um, when Harry and Meghan got married we set ourselves up in the garden and had tea and scones and had a little tea party um, with our royal themed mugs um, and the dogs even wore their best British uh, bow ties and uh, bandanas because again I'm extra. Um, and then over here I'm documenting a day that I spent with Daisy and her family at her house. We had a lovely barbecue down at the lake um, and this card again is from Felicity Jane. And then I'm just documenting a trip to the Emma Bridgewater factory with my mum and one of her best friends. Um, and again, you can see I'm using a collage to fit in more photos. So like I said, this is where I started again um, a couple of weeks ago. And this layout gave me a lot of trouble actually. I, I came back to it several times and I'm still not massively happy with it, but I am a lot happier than I was originally. Um, it's very all over the place, it just documents lots of things that were happening in June last year. Um, I went to the scrapbook retreat and um, had a few days out with the dogs and we had lots going on at home because we were packing to move um, but we weren't sure when our house move was actually going to go through and it was all just very stressful basically. Um, but yeah, the colours in, in this layout gave me a lot of trouble. I just wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So in the end, I just used a selection of yellow and pink cards and embellishments. And I, I think it looks okay. So that was June. And then we go into... Oh, this is the end of June as well. Will and I went to the caravan. And um, that whole page is documenting that trip. Um, and again, it's mainly just dog photos because I love them, but um, that's a Felicity Jane card. Um, I started using more wood veneer again, and there's a few puffy stickers and things. So yeah, that's the end of June. And then we go into July. So this is where the album's not technically completely finished. Um, July last year, the 2nd of July last year, was when my mum received her official cancer diagnosis. And, you know, everything just changed in our life. Um, and if you just looked at this album, you wouldn't know really that any of that happened. I mean, I touched on it here, but, um, I, I didn't really talk about in detail mum's diagnosis or how I felt or how we dealt with it as a family. And I want all of that in my album 
I want my future children to read through my scrapbook albums and to really see my life, the good and the bad. I want them to know it all. Do you know what I mean? I, I feel like I know so little about my parents when they were younger. And all I have are a few photos here and there. And I, I really want my children to know me and to understand me as a person and to know about my life. And so I want to go back and put an insert in here, maybe just an A4 um, piece of paper even, um, just of journaling, telling everything that happened during that time and how I felt about it. And that will probably sit in between these two inserts here. So this is the beginning of July and the day after mum's diagnosis, we all as a family went down to Hailing Island and just spent the day there together. Um, and then the week after that was my brother's graduation. And again, as a family, we all went to watch his graduation. And then I've got this insert here, just, uh, just titled with July moments with some random photos from July that don't really need any journaling, but um, I wanted to include. So I'm going to put, like I said, a page of journaling here, just talking about everything that was really happening and how we all felt. We did go away at the end of July, Will and I, we'd already booked to go camping. So I obviously documented that on the back of that insert I've got three pictures from camping and I've just got this um title here that says enjoy and I'm so sorry I don't know where it's from but um you guys know that I love including large photos in my album so I've got a big picture there of the sunset and then a big picture there of St Ives Harbour um so I just popped in a few pictures from our trip to Cornwall there as well with a little bit of journaling because I feel like the pictures do speak for themselves. I don't really need to put loads in there. Um, but yeah, we had a lovely trip to Cornwall. These stickers are from Crate Paper. They were part of a like baby collection, I think. Um, and I just got some old wood veneer there from the works. And this actually pulls out and it has a picture of one of the seals from the seal sanctuary on the back because we loved the seal sanctuary. We actually went there again um, on our recent trip. This page here is also July, it's right at the end of July. Um, Will and I celebrated our five year anniversary so I have that five there on that picture because we went out for dinner and there's a little bit of journaling around there about our five year anniversary. Um, again, dog photos, a very simple little title card. Um, this is my a picture of my anniversary flowers that Will got me and um, we went to a sunflower field as well, me and some of my family. And then the next page is August, it's the beginning of August, so it documents a crazy week and again this really needs more journaling because this is when my mum had her surgery and it was just awful, um, although maybe I'll just include all of that in the journaling for July, but um, this was a crazy week, Will turned 30, we moved house, my mum had her surgery, it was just an absolute crazy week, um, and I just didn't, I didn't know how to document it, and I, there was no way to portray how crazy the week really was, and I do have vlogs from this time, so that's something at least, um, but yeah, it's, it, it was just absolutely crazy and I feel like that's not really demonstrated in my album so maybe at some point I will go back and add more journaling here I don't know but um these uh, houses and this keeping it real they were from an old Dear Lizzie collection um as were these uh chipboard stickers here but yeah I kind of like how that layout came together it just doesn't really portray the real stress of, of that week this is also August, so this basically documents how my craft room came together in the first couple of weeks in our new house. This is a Felicity Jane card, um, and I used a little bit of wood veneer there. These were more of those um, chipboard stickers from the Creative set, and that's another Amy Tan puffy sticker there. This filler card here is also from Felicity Jane, and then this is just a photo from an event I went to with Trim Craft. Um, and again, I didn't feel the need to journal about that, I just wanted the photo in there. Towards the end of the month, we went to Helsinki. This was um, Will's birthday present. I booked us a trip to Finland. And I've got a couple of postcards here, which I've put back to back and just added in. And then um, it's quite photo heavy, <laughs> um, this trip documentation. So again, I've got another postcard there 
just a few pictures of um, the Uspensky Cathedral. Um, I nearly always have a flying <laughs> photo. Um, and again, just really simple embellishment, a few chipboard stickers and a couple of puffy stickers and that's really it. That's also Helsinki, probably even more simple than the page before, just a few stickers here and there, and that's pretty much it, a little bit of wood veneer. Um, and then we go straight into Disneyland Paris because we came home from Helsinki and a day and a half later we went to Disneyland Paris for my birthday. So to document this, I mainly used the Simple Stories Enchanted collection, which is really, really old. I bought it like three or four years ago, hoping that I would go to Disneyland Paris one day and be able to use it, and I finally could. So um, I dug a few old bits out of my stash for this, definitely. Um, these stickers are really old, they were just from my stash, and then this sticker in the back was from an old crepe paper sheet, I think. Um, and I just captioned it lovely DLP, so lovely Disneyland Paris. Um, this journaling card is from um, the Simple Stories collection I talked about. And this little The Best Day sticker was from Crate Paper. I think the collection was called Carousel or something like that. It had lots of fun fair themed elements. So obviously they kind of work for Disneyland Paris, which is a theme park. So that's a little insert there and then the back side has got this beautiful card with the Disney castle on from that Simple Stories collection um, next to a picture of the Disney castle in Paris um, and I love this sticker from Crate Paper here and there that says never going home and I just thought that was perfect for Disney photos. And then all of the embellishments on here are from that Simple Stories collection, apart from these little Disney ears embellishment there, which my friend Daisy actually made for me. She made several of them in different colours, and they are so cute, and I had to get one into this page. Um, but yeah, the rest of the embellishments are all from that Simple Stories collection. And there's a little... Um, pocket in here but it, the photo is kind of wedged in so I can't get it out now but there's a tab there that says lift and there's some extra photos in there. The second part of our trip uh, to Paris we actually spent in central Paris so the back side of, of that Disney spread are all my, it's all my photos from central Paris so it's very very um, photo heavy that page but um, again quite simple embellishment I've just got a label there some tiny word stickers a bit of wood veneer a few bits from um, the here and there collection that says explore your world honestly I just pulled a lot of this stuff out of my stash so I'm not sure where it's from but um, yeah regardless it's all quite simple as you can see then we head into September of last year and again it's all quite photo heavy and all quite random. There isn't really any rhyme or reason or theme to a lot of my spreads, it's just you know whatever photos I took that month. Um, so I've got a few photos taken when I got back from Disney, um, pictures of the dogs as usual. This is an old wood veneer, I have no idea where this wood veneer came from but it says us inside a little heart. I thought that was lovely for a picture of me and Archie together. Um, and then I've got a picture of some crafting and a picture of my university with another one of those um, thicker words. Then we head straight into October. So September was literally just one page and then we head into October. Um, and I have these beautiful photos of Archie and Winnie with the pumpkins when I went pumpkin picking with some of my friends. So I had to include them, I just think they're so lovely. Um, which obviously meant that I then was sort of stuck with orange as my colour scheme. Which was a bit difficult because for some reason the October card from Crate Paper that I, I love to include because I've included them for the rest of the months um, was mint. So I then had to try and find some sort of way to incorporate mint into the spread as well to make it match and I'm not sure I did it particularly convincingly but I had this sticker sheet, I think it was from Pebbles, and it had some orangey toned flowers on a mint background. So I stuck some of them onto this um, filler card and I cut the edges off um, to try and get some mint into this spread. Um, and I found this, this embellishment as well which was orange and mint. And I, I just tried to encourage, um, incorporate some, some green, mint green into this spread um, to try and make that calendar card match. But again, I'm not sure how convincingly I did it, but at least, at least it's in the books. 
um, and I have these little stickers here that say best friends um, because it's pictures of Archie and Winnie together and I think they were from Pebbles as well. Then we have the end of October and I have that beautiful photo that my friend took of Winnie on her birthday last year. We went to Winkworth Arboretum and it was so so beautiful um, and this photo was also taken there as was this one and so were these. My friend took some beautiful pictures of me with Winnie. I don't really like them because I have so many double chins but you know what? I don't care, Winnie hit 20,000 followers and it was so cute and my friend took some photos so I included them and did a little bit of journaling about it and I think this paper was from an old Dear Lizzie collection or Amy Tan collection and I normally just have one journaling card on a spread just very quickly describing some of the things that you can see in the photos um, I'm really not much of a journaler at all a lot of the time then we go into November and you can see I've got that photo in here again, even though it was technically taken at the end of October, it fit the colour scheme of this spread and I wanted it in there twice because it was just so cute and it filled a gap. So I popped that photo in there again and there's a little um, gold bunting sticker on it. Um, these are pictures from a Christmas fair that my mum and I went to and I just put a little red label there with some journaling on. Um, I documented my first Christmas Costa of the season and um, the birth of our youngest nephew, Jacob. Um, he was actually born on the day that I went to Disneyland Paris on my solo trip, so I wrote a little bit about that. Um, and here I have a card that says, On My Way DLP, with a picture of my suitcase that I was packing. Um, again, like I said before, I've just got one journaling card there documenting most of the photos on the spread. Then we go on to uh, November, uh, the, the middle of November, sorry, and my Disneyland Paris solo trip. Um, I documented this using the Simple Stories Say Cheese collection, and this was another collection that I bought three or four years ago at the same time I bought the Enchanted collection, just in the hopes that I would one day go to Disney and be able to use it. So I've got a journaling card here um, with a die cut from Ellie Studio just explaining that I went to Disneyland Paris on a solo trip and I had a I had a great time and how magical it was to see Disney at Christmas. Um, and Ellie Studio actually has a Disney collection called Magical Memories or something like that. So I used a lot of that collection to document this trip as well and I'll definitely use it more in my travel album when I go into detail with these trips. So this puffy sticker down here and these word stickers um, are from that Ellie Studio kit as is this puffy sticker and this one. Um, I've got a little journaling card here with um, the story of meeting Marie and another word sticker there from Ellie Studio. This page here um, also documents the trip and again it's super simple. I've just got a few little die cuts here and there, some wood veneer, some little word stickers from Ellie Studio. Um, yeah, just kept it really simple and this journaling card was from the Simple Stories collection. And then a super photo heavy layout on the back with my last photos from that trip. So I have way more photos than that obviously, but they'll be documented in my travel album. So I just sort of put my favourites in here. Um, but that's the partner statue in Disney Studios, which I love. I think that's a really nice picture. Um, the decorations on Main Street here and here. Um, and some more character photos there. And then last but not least we head into December and again it was mint so it just it does really restrict your colour scheme when the cards are coloured and it does make things a bit difficult <laughs> but um, I, I just tried to make it work the best I could so um, these are all from the beginning of December. I had a dark coloured card here so I did my journaling in white pen just about how important it is to read to children and every year I buy a Christmas book to read with the kids at school and they really enjoy it. We met our baby nephew for the first time when he was two weeks old and I decorated our Christmas tree. Then we go into what are probably my least favourite spreads of the whole album, despite the fact that it's Christmas, which I love. I never like my Christmas spreads in my Project Life album. I think I might just have to start doing like a festive collage for the end of my Project Life albums and just do December Daily because I always love my December Daily albums and hate my December in my Project Life. I don't know, it just never works. All of the patterns are far too busy, but I ran out of plain papers and whatever again at least it's done 
I dug out these gold titles and, and gold embellishments from a really old pack of thickers that I no longer have the packaging for. So I don't know where they're from. I think they were from a crepe paper collection a really long time ago. Um, I think, do you know what? I think it was Maggie Holmes Shine Collection, but I love them and I've hoarded them for years um, and it was about time they were used. So I used several of them on this layout um, with some papers from Crepe Paper and Trim Craft. Um, I love this one of Santa in his sleigh, that's why I put This Is My Fave on there, and that's an old uh, Dear Lizzie embellishment. I haven't embellished these photos at all, and there's just a little label up there. Um, and then I've got a 6x8 photo of my mum on her 50th birthday, with one of um, a present on the back that I had wrapped. And again, I think I'm going to put another insert here with really in-depth journaling about everything that happened in December uh, because again you wouldn't know from looking at these spreads but this was a really hard time and it's not that I want to put a downer in my albums I just want to be honest and I want like I said future generations or people who look at the album to know what was going on and my mum was going through radiotherapy my brother um actually nearly passed away and was really ill in hospital and was diagnosed with a chronic condition which is really rare um so I want I want that to be in my albums. I, I want people to understand what was going on and I want to be honest in here. So I think I am going to go back and do that at some point as well. This is another really photo heavy layout here about an afternoon tea that I took my mum to. And again, I've done a little tag here with um, more photos that you can pull in and out. And then this is the last spread in the album and it just documents Christmas Day. So um, I always try and take photos of us as a family, you know, me, Will and the dogs on Christmas Day. Um, and every year my mum still gives us new pyjamas on Christmas Eve. Um, but last year my brother was in Australia. So it was just me and my youngest brother who was fresh out of hospital and not feeling his best. Um, so we took a sad photo because it wasn't the same without Ryan. Um, and I had to document that. Will bought me Harry Potter studio tour tickets for Christmas, which I still have not booked, and I really need to do that because otherwise they're going to expire. Um, and then this is a picture of my sister's children. Um, my sister Kelly has two boys, and my sister Katie has a boy and a girl. And it's very rare to see them all in one picture, so I had to document that. Um, and I used the crepe paper, what was it called, Merry Days collection for that page. Then I've got a 12 by 12 photo here of my Christmas Kinder Surprise just to finish the album. And the final page, as usual, is a collage of some of the best moments of the year. So we've got meeting my niece, um, Archie in the Snow, Sweden, watching my brother graduate, our trip to Cornwall, our trip to Helsinki, our trip to Disneyland, um, pumpkin picking with the dogs, and my solo trip to Disneyland. Um, so yes, that is the whole of my 2018 album. Um, it feels like such an achievement when it's done, even when you're not massively happy with it. It's just so good to have it done. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.